Did you know that in Interstellar, when Cooper and his team land on Miller's planet, one hour there equals seven years back on Earth? Sounds crazy, but here's the science behind it. Einstein's theory of relativity says time runs slower near massive objects. And a black hole? That's as massive as it gets. Gargantua, the one in the movie, is about 100 million times heavier than our sun. A planet orbiting just outside its edge could, in theory, experience a time stretch of that extreme magnitude. But here's the problem. For a planet that close, things get dangerous. If the black hole were small, tidal forces would tear the planet apart. If it's supermassive, tidal forces are weaker, allowing for possible survival. But then there's the radiation. Most black holes have blazing disks of deadly X-rays and gamma rays, and any nearby planet would be fried. The movie dodges this by showing Gargantua as quiet, not feeding much. Even then, the orbit has to be insanely precise. Slip a little closer, and the planet spirals in forever. And even if the orbit holds, it's unlikely such a planet could keep water and an atmosphere stable for life. So could Miller's planet exist? Time dilation like that? Yes. A habitable water world sitting right there? Almost no chance. 